Hi, and welcome to the Ollie Wind YouTube channel. Uh, after my first introductory video, I wanted to do a second video before uh, starting with the wine tasting to kind of explain the different step I will go through uh, during the, the wine tasting. And you can also apply that if you want to try wine tasting at home by yourself. Um, this different step is important because when you build kind of your library of wine, going through the different steps, make sure that you compare apples to apple. Second, trying to use always the same vocabulary uh, also enables you to share with people and and compares on, on the same basis and understand why is everyone different. So there are kind of uh, four main steps when you do wine tasting. One is to take a look at the color of the, the wine. So just looking at, looking at the wine itself. And so when you look at the wine, it kind of tells you or give you some indication about uh, the age of the wine or about what kind of grapes it, it would be. Because if, uh, if it's a white wine, for instance, and if it's an old wine, you should have a very golden, golden color because the older a white wine is, the more intense the color is and the more you're going towards gold and amber, whereas the regular color is lemon or straw. The second part is going through uh, smelling. And so same thing when, when you go smell and so you, you swear a little or not, sometimes it's better not to swear and, and you smell the aromas, you try to identify what are you smelling? Are you smelling, again, if we take a white wine, lemon, apple, pear are a very common smell, but are you smelling something else? Are you smelling peach? Are you smelling uh, almond? Are you smelling petrol, plastic, whatever? And smell is personal. Everyone has different uh, olfactory capacities and capabilities, everyone's different. And so no one will always smell the same thing. But if it's a white wine, usually everyone should get apple and or pear and, and lemon. That's very basic characteristics. The third one, of course, you'll, is trying the wine. And so you take a taste and then you see oh, how the alcohol level or the acidity, how is the tannin, if it's a red wine, and what are the flavor? What is the flavor intensity I'm getting? And what are the flavor I'm getting? And usually the flavor should match the one of the nose, maybe slightly different, but it should be common. If you smelled lemon and apple or pear, you should at least have apple or pear and, and lemon in your glass. You may get more. Usually what I'm doing too is I'm going back to the nose because sometimes tasting the wine kind of, you smell with your palate too. So it helps you find, find more taste. And finally, you kind of try to draw a conclusion about the wine. So first of all, before going to do I like the wine or not, it's more like the, the quality level. How intense were the aroma? How complex was the wine? How long was the finish? And so if you have a lot of different flavor for a lot of different characteristics of the wine, plus these, these flavors are from an aroma standpoint in a the taste and pour very, very strong and intense and last forever, that's an outstanding wine. If you just get basic lemon apple and after half a second, you don't have any taste anymore in the wine, that's just a decent wine or a entry level wine. And of course, after you, you, you do a few sips, you also have the possibility, especially if you build your own library of do I like the wine or not, this style of wine or not. So that's kind of how I'll go through the different uh, steps when, when I will do uh, the videos about specific wine tasting. I hope you find that informative and find, uh, find time to, to watch more uh, specific tastings. Have a good one, take care.